Hey everybody, this is your favorite crazy orthodontist, Baron D. Hall here, how to show you how aligners like Invisalign move teeth. Now before we get going, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you haven't already, check out my video on how braces move teeth. I'll include a link at the end of this video, and there's one down at the bottom in the description below. So let's get going, how aligners move teeth. It all starts with a scan like this. Now this is like a magical camera that takes thousands of pictures of your teeth and it creates a 3D model of your mouth on a computer screen like this. Whoo, quite fascinating. It's much better than the old school way where we used to use these goopy molds like this and gag people. No, no, you're not gonna throw up. If you throw up, I'm gonna make you scoop it off the ground and eat it. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, it is better. And so we can generate a 3D model that looks like this, and we upload that into a particular software. This particular software is called ULab. Just to show you how aligners move teeth, we're gonna focus on this molar right here that's pretty significantly rotated. And we're gonna ignore these lower front teeth, even though there's some imperfections involved with those. Again, just for learning purposes, I wanna show you this molar right here. It'll be a good example. Now, with this software, we click teeth, and this one turned blue, and we actually direct tooth movement. The orthodontist can click these teeth and guide where they want the teeth to move. And that's where the magic of being an orthodontist comes into play. Now, down here at the bottom, this person has 13 different stages in order to try to get this molar straightened out. And each of those 13 stages corresponds to a particular aligner that's gonna help straighten that tooth sequentially. I'm gonna explain a little bit later, but we're not gonna actually do all 13 stages. But hopefully this just gives you an idea. And we're gonna put this particular case and this software on the back burner. Next, I wanna to talk to you about 3M software. This is one of the bigger competitors to Invisalign out there, and this case is much more complicated than the last one that I showed you. Obviously, you can see that this person has way more crowding going on. Teeth are jumbled up quite a bit. We're just gonna kinda of scroll all the way around here just so you can kinda of see. And way back here in the back, you'll see these blue teeth. Those are actually simulated teeth to be extracted on this person. She had so much crowding and so much going on that we needed to pull some of her permanent teeth in order to make room for her other teeth to be able to unravel and uncrowd. So as you scroll down through here at the bottom, do, 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 do. Each one of these numbers corresponds to an aligner or a stage in this person's treatment that's going to sequentially move all the ways, all of these teeth all the way to number 70, okay? So once you get to number 70, you can see everything looks much, much nicer. Now, the bite isn't 100% perfect, but that's okay. That's something that we can deal with later. That's not something that we're gonna talk about right now. But as I scroll around and just kind of show you, you can obviously see how things are a lot better. Now, this thing right here that's glued onto the tooth, that's actually a little blob of glue that we as orthodontists will glue onto the tooth to give the plastic something to grab a hold of. This canine tooth way up here, it's pretty high. There is no way that a piece of plastic can grab that tooth and pull down on it and get it to come down because the plastic will just slip off. So in an actual patient, these attachments look like this. Now I wanted to show you this because they've stained just a little bit. If you have this happen to you, just tell your orthodontist and typically they can polish off that stain. But when they're not stained, they should look something like this. They're virtually invisible. And again, those are glued onto the tooth. They're virtually invisible and they give the plastic something to grab a hold of so that we can make more complicated movements, like pulling a tooth down, for example. Another example is a round egg-shaped tooth that needs to rotate. If you could imagine a piece of plastic trying to grab an egg shape that's very slippery from saliva, the plastic can't grab that tooth and spin it. So we put those attachments on there, again, as a purchase point for the plastic to grab the tooth and move it appropriately. Going back through here to our particular case, you can see these teeth Right through here, they need a lot of movement. They need to move down and they need to move backwards. So those attachments are there to help guide that movement. They are absolutely essential. And some of the aligner systems out there brag and boast that you don't need attachments, but that is absolutely false. There's a reason that some of these aligner systems out there, I'm not gonna name names, but some of them are going bankrupt right now. I'll let you figure that out. Invisalign and 3M Clarity software though, 
They are not going bankrupt because they use attachments and they are awesome. And this is the big bad boy himself, Invisalign, the biggest name in all of dentistry. And again, it's just another kind of software. It's another lab that virtually does the same thing as the last things that I showed you. Now, as you go through here, do, 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 as we scroll along, you'll see this person's teeth get a little bit straighter, a little bit better with each one of these numbers that corresponds with a particular aligner. You can go fast too. These attachments, they show up pink. And you'll notice right here, you have these numbers. Again, that's a, another conversation, another topic for another time, but basically those numbers correspond to something where we actually polish the in-between surfaces of teeth in order to make a little bit of room for some people in some instances. Again, we'll talk about that in another video in another time, but I'm just showing you just so that you can understand what these numbers mean on this particular video. Now, another thing is you'll see these blue and black dots. Those correspond to just increased movements that you'll have in particular instances. The blue means that there's gonna be kind of a lot of movement on that tooth, and then the black means there's kind of a lot of a lot of movement on that particular tooth. Just kind of scrolling through along here, and you'll notice here towards the end, this person's bite just kind of jumps right there. Now, that doesn't actually happen in real life. The software doesn't have a way of slowly transitioning that person's bite. So whenever it shows on here, it's a big jump. But I'll show you the before and after of this patient and where she ended up. And it was a slow transition to get her bite where it was open in the back to where it's nice. One thing to note about aligners is that this computer simulation is not 100%. And so we're not going to get these people to the final result that you predict on this computer simulation every time. So we do what's called a refinement. Now this person actually ended up here after a couple sets of aligners. Now this central tooth right here that has the pink attachment on it, it was still kind of angled, kind of tipped, wasn't as perfect as we want. These old attachments that were still on her teeth are showing up here kind of transparent. So we basically did a new scan on her after she had gone through a whole bunch of aligners and she's gonna get even more aligners to help fine tune things. And with this batch of aligners, she's gonna get 17 more of them to try to help fine tune these teeth and get them a little bit better before we're done. And this is the final result they're predicting her to get to. So once we have our simulation in order, we have to print 3D models of these people's teeth from every single one of those numbers down at the bottom of the screen. That one patient had 70, and the very first one I showed you, like this, actually had 13. However, we're going to kind of skip ahead, and rather than doing all 13 of them, we're going to go 3, 6, 9, 12. And those casts correspond to these right here, 3, 6, 9, 12. And you'll remember that molar that I pointed out before, where it's going to actually move sequentially. And I'm just showing you this model for learning purposes, just to show you how aligners move teeth sequentially. So this is the 3D printer right here. I'm kind of fast forwarding through it. And when it's all done, pull it out and you'll have a bunch of 3D printed models of this person's teeth. And when we lay them out, 3, 6, 9, 12 right here, you'll see that with each one, that molar has moved just a little bit. The reason I'm able to skip ahead 3, 6, 9, 12 is that there are different plastics that are just a little bit harder and stiffer that can generate a little bit more movement per aligner than some of the other plastics. But note right here, 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 that molar has moved and gotten a little bit straighter with each model. Next, what we have to do is we make the aligner that fits over the top of those models. So what she's doing right here is that she's heating a sheet of plastic on this little machine right here. Fast forward, and when the sheet is done heating, she flips it over, and this machine has air pressure that pushes that plastic down over the top of that 3D printed model so that it fits over it really nice and tightly. It takes about 70 seconds for it to cool all the way down and become room temperature. She removes it, and it looks like this. But then she has to pry the models out from underneath the plastic she pulls those out of there like that. And when she's done removing the model from that plastic, then she has to cut and trim the plastic to fit the patient. So here you see her cutting it out. I'm gonna fast forward through that. And then she's gonna polish it and trim it for comfort for the patient. So 
now you have a series of aligners that will sequentially move teeth. That one right there, that right there, and that right there. That's the patient that we showed you before where that molar is moving just a little bit. So whenever he puts these aligners in, each aligner is going to move that molar just a little bit and get it straighter. Now I'm showing you how to do this manually for learning purposes, but the big companies have factories that basically automate all of this stuff. And a lot of them now have the capability of being able to print the aligners directly without having to do the model making step. Whenever they send that back to us, they come in series of aligners that look like this, all packaged up and neat. So now we're gonna go back to our Invisalign patient, if you remember this person, and here is her before at the top and the after at the bottom. Now, before you say anything, no, the aligners did not stain her teeth. The reason that the bottom teeth are a little yellower is just an artifact from the flash in our camera. So it's just a lighting effect. So going back, this was her when we first started, going all the way through the aligners from start to finish. This is where she started again, and this is where she finished at the bottom. Now, right here where this purple arrow is, I was a little disappointed that there was some space right there when we finished, but my hope is over time, those teeth will actually do what's called settle, and they should come together on their own. So that's something that we'll keep an eye on. But for the most part, this person had an outstanding result from aligners. So this person's bite is the way that it is because she used a sleep apnea device for a very long period of time that actually moved her lower teeth forward and screwed up her bite. So then we used Invisalign to not only straighten her teeth and get them looking straight, but it fixed her bite as well. So that's the magic of orthodontics. And again, I do want to repeat that her teeth did not stain yellow. That's just an artifact from the lighting of the cameras in different time periods and settings. So when you see these commercials like this, when people pop in their aligners and they straighten out the teeth, now you know how it works. In an office, it looks something like this, the very same thing. This person's popping in her aligners and it's gonna straighten her teeth sequentially. And she might get 20, she might get 30, she might get 70. But each aligner is gonna move the teeth just a little bit until eventually they get straight. Hopefully this explains everything well, guys. If you have any questions, I'm very receptive to comments down below. Please ask and I will answer. Also, make sure to check out my video on how braces move teeth. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.